football, the Shell House Angels handed the Cars Plus Rams their first loss of the season, 35-31. Quarterback Will Williams threw for 186 yards and three touchdowns, this one good for 17 yards to Danny Cepeda. Steve Phillips racked up 136 yards through the air. Josh Bula on the receiving end of this 62-yard hookup. Bula finished the game with six receptions for 83 yards and two touchdowns. This year's top running back Jesse Manglonia had 11 carries for 53 yards, four receptions for 17 yards and a touchdown in the loss for the 4-1 Cars Plus Rams. The Pepsi Warriors improved to 3-2 on the season with the 33-6 win over the Limelight Spartans. Defensively, the Warriors carried the low with only 25 players suiting up for the ball game. Manny Cruz and Jack Shimizu getting in on the sack here, forcing another Spartans turnover. Limelight's only score of the game came from Adrian Kittigua, who went in from less than a yard out on the quarterback keeper. Eric Farron led the Warriors in the win with 124 yards passing and three touchdowns. Sandy Farron put in two of the three touchdown passes for the Warriors. 76 Circle K, along with a host of other sponsors, held their third annual Paddles Against Cancer event at Matapang Beach. 21 teams took part in the fundraising event that is held yearly to bring families together in the battle against cancer. This year we have actually 21 entries. Uh, last year we had 14, so we've grown by 50% over last year. It's a great jump in participation. It's a great way to get out of the office, get with your fellow employees, onto the water, enjoy Guam's beautiful scenery. Um, there's no better way to do it. We want to thank everyone for coming out to support this event, our raising money to fight cancer. Um, it's a great way to bond with your team, your company, your employees. Uh, we really appreciate the support of all the companies involved and we hope to see you all again next year. Keeping with news out of the island's waters, Gurmax Cycles Plus Jet Ski Challenge 2 took place over in Isagania. Participants took part in a two-hour endurance race that allowed teams of several pilots to take turns on one watercraft navigating through a large course that was laid out in Isagania Bay. It was a great day of racing that saw all the participants enjoying a fun, safe day of responsible boating, racing, and sportsmanship. It's not only a jet ski racing event. The uh, idea is to get the uh, watercraft enthusiasts, the local watercraft enthusiasts and owners, try to get them in, involved more into the, uh, into the sport of it. But not only the sport of it, but the safety side of it. Uh, we saw a lot of skis on uh, jet skis uh, were, uh, in our operation. And a part of our responsibility is to make sure that we pass on safety. And uh, we'd like to also mention the fact that uh, uh, the Department of Parks and Rec, uh, Highway Safety, GPD Harbor, uh, Coast Guard, and all the agencies that have helped us to uh, make sure that we put on these types of events, not necessarily racing events, but safety events to make the public aware of uh, you know, the safety behind watercrafting and, uh, and passing it on to their families and friends to make sure that we do it safely and properly.